How to test an alternator step-by-step -step guide. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Auto care secret here. And today, we were going to learn how to properly test your car as alternator to see if it is charging your battery the way it should. Before we get started, one quick note. If your car has a smart charging system, this test may not apply to you since those systems work differently. What the alternator does, the alternator's main job is simple. It keeps your battery charged and powers all the electrical components while the engine is running. For this test, your engine needs to be on. Here's what the alternator looks like on a Toyota Camry. And here's where you'll find it on a Suzuki Forenzer. Step 1 Test the battery first. Before testing the alternator, we need to make sure the battery is good. If your battery is weak or faulty, your alternator test won't be accurate. Inspect the terminals, look for corrosion or buildup. Corrosion can cause resistance and lower the voltage reading. If you see any, make sure to clean it up. Set your multimeter to 20 volts DC. Connect the red LED to the positive terminal and the black LED to the negative terminal. You should get a reading around 12.6 volts. A little higher or lower is fine, but if it's down around 10 volts, that means one of the battery cells could be bad, and U lines likely need a replacement. Step 2. Check voltage while cranking. Keep the multimeter connected and have someone start the car. The voltage should not drop below 10 volts while the engine is cranking. If it does, your battery may be getting weak and on its way out. Once you've confirmed the battery is healthy, Double check for loose or corroded connections throughout the charging system. That includes the battery terminals, alternator wiring, and even the ground cables. Don't forget to check the alternator fuses. People often overlook these, but a blown fuse can make the system look bad even when the alternator itself is fine. Step 3. Test the alternator. Now we can test the alternator itself. Start your engine and bring the RP MIS up to around 2000. Look at the voltage reading, it should be between 13.5 and 15 volts on most vehicles. If you want exact numbers, check your vehicle's repair manual. If you don't have one, I'll link a great repair manual in the description below. Step 4. Add a load. Next, let's stress test the alternator. Turn on as many electrical components as possible, headlights high beam, uh, C, radio, Emergency flashers, rear defroster, with everything on, the voltage shouldn't drop below 13.5 volts. If it does, your alternator may be weak or failing. Also, check your serpentine belt. A loose or slipping belt can cause the same low voltage issue even if the alternator is fine. Step 5 Watch for Overcharging Now, if your voltage reading goes above 15 volts, that's a different problem. That means your alternator is overcharging the battery, which can damage electrical components and shorten battery life. Most of the time, overcharging happens because of a bad voltage regulator, so you'll want to get that checked out immediately. And that's how you can test your alternator like a pro using just a simple multimeter. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to Auto Care Secret, and check out the next video where we cover how a voltage regulator works and the symptoms of a bad one. Click right here.